Welcome everybody to the first Mario Plush Bros video of 2023. We are starting off this year with a freaking banger. From Walmart, we got two mystery power boxes of Pokemon cards. These things are, are very highly collectible. Um, I've been looking for these for a long time. Finally got them last month from Walmart. What are you doing? Being a little suspicious. Okay. So, we got two mystery power boxes from Walmart. These are very highly collectible. And they come with random, randomly assorted packs. And there is a very low chance that we can get a vintage pack. So, we could get a base set pack from 1998. What are the odds we actually get that? Very low. But, this is going to be the triple mystery opening. Because we also have a mystery power cube. So, the cube doesn't come with any packs. It just comes with three foil cards and 42 three common cards. foil cards, cards and 42 common cards. This sounds like a piece of garbage. All right, so we got this box. We're going to tear into this thing with my hands. That's Ugh. not your hands, Trenton. I'm in my mouth. There's Lucas. Uh, yes, so. <coughs> we will be opening this. All right, I'm going to sit down for this. Once we get into the opening here. Yeah, yeah, you should <coughs> sit down. That's right, Lucas. It's a chair. Chairs are made for sitting. Never opened one of these cubes before, but let's see what we get. Cube? So here are you our... You even know what a cube is. Yes, Lucas, it's a power cube, mystery power cube. Cubes. All right, get it right Hmm. What? What is that? Spitting on card? <laughs> all right. Ignore the mud on my hands. We have Sir Chester Bath, Alistair. These are all common and uncommons. Heroes Metal, Drone Rotom, Hyper Potion, B Turfield Stadium, Potion Kabu. These are all trainer cards. Memory Capsule, Ener uh, Psychic Energy. A steel energy, a water energy, a dark energy, another water energy, a dark, another dark energy. Oh my god, we got foil. Are they literally counting reverse hollows as foil card? That's pretty bad. Lucas, you gotta leave. Hey, we're gonna leave, buddy. All right, Lucas, we'll see you. Goodbye. Tell them to like and subscribe. All right, electric energy, lightning energy, uh, electric, I guess you can call it fighting. If they count this as the foil card, that's pretty sad. Star you. Care of Blast and Luxray. We did get a reverse rare though. There's more packs. There's more. There's more cards in here. All right, here we go, guys. Oh, it actually comes with hard cases. Now, if those count as the foil cards, that sucks. I don't recommend the Mystery Power Cube if you're looking for rare cards. I'm just gonna look through this because I don't think there's anything really good in here. Um, this is the Mystery Power Cube. Doesn't look like there's anything really worth noting. They're all just commons and uncommons. The three foil cards was a reverse rare Carablast, which is a common, and a Staryu, which is a common. Luxray was a reverse rare. This is probably the only good pack, only good card we got out of the Mystery Power Cube, but I am going to put this in hard case just because, you know, they gave it to us, so we might as well take advantage of it. Here we go. Take it in there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there's Luxray. That's the first good card. We'll throw that in there. The rest of these cards, I'll just sit them off to the side. So if you guys are wondering if we're bringing back the Pokemon card series, because it is the first Sunday of the month, we'll just have to see how that goes. And if you haven't already, be sure to check out, sorry for the plug, but uh, a few weeks ago I did a uh, pack opening with Mini X, a pack battle. So go check out that video, the link in the cards. We need to get that up to 15 likes so we can do a collab with Mini X and Island Card Collector. So just let you guys know. Now we're getting on to, okay, I want to start by opening up the regular mystery power box now this contains five booster packs uh the ones they show here are vivid voltage brilliant stars evolving skies darkness ablaze and fusion strike which are all sword and shield packs mainly what we're going to getting is new packs but there is a chance for a vintage pack now what do i what do they mean by vintage pack i don't know this is jungle uh booster which i believe was released in 1999 or 1998 i don't remember the exact year but if we could get even something from the early 2000s i would be happy but i don't know what we're gonna get so we're gonna find out. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's 
tear this thing. I have never opened a mystery power box, and even if we don't get a vintage pack, guys, there are still plenty of packs in here to get good cards. The teeth is always the way to get on these things. Oh, don't bring a knife. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Woo! All right, here we go. It's coming open. You guys know I'm very weak and struggle opening cards. Um, fudge. Be good. All right, bam. I kind of ruined the box, but I don't plan on keeping the box. Honestly, though, if I pulled a base set pack, I don't even know if I'd want to open it. Okay, let's see here. So I bent the box all up, but here's an idea of what they look like. You can get these at Walmart. Walmart's the main place to sell these, but they're always sold out of them. So it's very difficult to get them. You can see these old packs actually came with 11 packs, 11 cards. We got five of those packs. What are we going to get, ladies and gentlemen? That's what I'm looking forward to getting. We're going to get something old. Uh, those look pretty new. We have, ooh, uh, Battle Styles and Fusion Strike. Those are brand new packs, both released in 2021, I think. We have, ooh, Vivid Voltage, Chilling Rain. Okay. And then the last pack is an Evolving Skies. They're all new Sword and Shield packs, but, okay, I don't know why some of these are in the... Um, the plastic and what or not. Okay, for the Chilling Rain, for those of you guys that remember, the rarest card in this is the Rainbow Rare Thompson, Mr. Thompson. The Rainbow Rare is the best card to get in Chilling Rain. Um, if you guys remember when I did the Elite Trainer box opening. All right, we're going to start with these loose packs. I'm going to start with Battle Styles because Battle Styles is one of the most underwhelming sets in Sword and Shield. It's not a bad set. It's just the worst one of the 11. Holy crap. All right, here we go. Oops, I'm going to put the cards... There's code card if any of you guys want to use that. All right, four from the back. Let's see what we get. Just a classic sword and shoot opening. There's Lucy down there, guys. A cat. She loves Pokemon. Her favorite Pokemon is... Good old Carvine. Uh, Carnivine. All right, so we've got Fighting Energy, Carnivine, Phoebe. <clears throat> that was a, <clears throat> one of the elite trainers, elite four members from Ruby and Sapphire. Mankey, Indeedee, Ponyard. Blitbug, Shinx, uh, Esper, Reverse Common, Houndour, and a Rapid Strike Urshifu V. Heck freaking yes. That's the mascot of the pack. I think uh, Napoleon was on the front, but Urshifu is the main uh, thing because this set's based on the Isle of Armor DLC for Sword and Shield. And Urshifu was the, um, the mascot, the main premise of the Isle of Armor. So Urshifu V, very good card. I don't have that one. I've opened a lot of Rapid Strike packs, so that's going to be a good one to keep. And then the rest of the commons, I'll, I'll just throw them in the cube here. I'll keep those. I'll keep the Urshifu off to the side with the Luxury. Ray. All right. That was already a good opening. All right, let's start with the next one, Fusion Strike. Now, Mini X in the pack battle opened up the Fusion Strike packs, and I opened up some battle styles. So let's see what Fusion Strike can get. Um, obviously, we're looking for Mike Piazza, but I don't think... Mike Piazza is a pretty rare car. I don't think we're going to pull him. Now, uh, by this point, by the time that Fusion Strike came out, I believe it came out in this year or last year, 2022, uh, they stopped doing the white and green code cards. I guarantee Battle Styles is probably one of the last sets that did the code cards um, with green and white. So the new sets don't have green and white. So they all look like that. So that way you can't really weigh them and cheat. So let's see what happens here. We got here. We got Psychic Energy Boys. You're on Psychic Energy. Schoolgirl. Chili Silent and Crest. Copperaja. Loves some Copperaja. Very strong attack. 160 damage. Drill Burst. Shinx. Bonaire. Vasculin. Grubbin. Merrill. And a regular rare Verizion. Rip. Regular rare. Or Verizion, that is a decent card, but man, you can't. No one likes regular rares. Come on. The place for this thing. This is how I feel about regular rares, guys. Get out of here, Verizion. That's what you do. Hopefully, I scared away... Hopefully, I scared away any green code cards or regular rares. Let's get back to this. I want all ultra rares from this point forward. Now, I'm going to save the Vivid Voltage pack for last because Vivid Voltage was one of the greatest packs in Sword and Shield. Um, I didn't open any Vivid Voltage packs in 2021 because they were so hard to get. Um, we are going to, I think we're going to do Evolving Skies next. These are actually in the plastic. 
So I think these are going to all have the... Oh, next year, uh, this year, guys, for the 2023 is the start of the Scarlet and Violet sets. So I'm looking forward to those. Once that comes out, we might get an Elite Trainer box or a Booster box or something, do an opening on that. Um, but let's see what Evolving Skies, we got Rayquaz on the front. Let's see what we got here. Are you freaking God? Ah! Green code card, guys. Rest in peace. All right. We'll still do the pack trick, though. We could get a cool regular rare. Some of the regular rares are... Man, I wouldn't, I'm not going to go as far. It's saying they're cool, but... Water energy. We got a gold duck. That's an uncommon. Okay. Rubber gloves. We got copycat. We got Swablu, Litleo, Chinchow, Dino, Pumpkaboo, and Reverse Hollow, Boldor, and a regular rare shift tree. All right. Rip regular rare. But again, that is a very strong card. Typically, the regular rares, though, if you play the game, regular rares are pretty good. They're typically strong cards, but. I'll just throw the regular rare shift tree in there. I'm not going to burn him like Verizion because he's weak to fire anyways. So I do like shift tree more than Verizion. All right. Chilling Rain. Can we get the Rainbow Rare Mr. Thompson card? That's that's the real question out of this Chilling Rain. I haven't opened a Chilling Rain pack in a while. So it uh, looks like we got Collie Rex on the front here. There's Lucy over there in that chair. There's Collie Rex on the front of this pack. open this bad boy so we got cast form to start things off i'm not gonna look at the code card just to keep it special there's the code for you guys all right i haven't done that much in a while that giving you guys the codes I and mean, i don't know if people really use them or not but you know some people probably scroll around on youtube looking for pack openings for code cards so if you're one of those guys you're in luck all right psychic energy hatch rim drizzle uh peony cast form rainy form uh, Yamas, Coughing, Shuppet, Reverse Hollow Hatrim, and another regular rare, Galarian Wheezing. Man, we're, we are sucking today on these regular rares. We got to hit the first pack. All right, can Vivid Voltage get us? If we can get the, the, uh, Rainbow Rare Pikachu VMAX card, that's the most valuable card in this set, was the Rainbow Rare Pikachu VMAX. That is a very highly sought after card, so hopefully we can grab that. We got, so we got Celebi on the front there. I've never opened Vivid Voltage, I don't think. I might have, but it's been the minute if I have. Vivid Voltage. All right, there we go. There's the pack. I don't have a good feeling about this one, but we'll see what happens. All right. Four from the back for Sword and Shield. If we were to pull an X and Y pack, we'd have to do three from the back. But Sun and Moon and Sword and Shield are four from the back. Galvantula, Dark Energy, Go Goat, Wind and Stadium, Rockruff, Taylor, Yanma, and a bunch of birds. Uh, reverse Rare, Executor. Yes, Reverse Rare. And Regular Rare, Two Cannon. Man, Regular Rares, man. Holy crap. Executor, not bad, though. Can't go wrong reverse hollow, right? All right, that's going to be it for the uh, original Mystery Power Box. Let me throw all this stuff to the end of the table. So we got to deal with that stuff. Now, the best card we got out of that was easily the Urshifu V from the Battle Style set. Surprisingly, Battle Styles, the least valuable set, gave us the most valuable card. And now, for the special Holiday Edition Mystery Power Box. Uh, this was sold during the holidays. Um, as you can see, the Holiday Edition. Four booster packs and one guarantee ultra rare card. So we not only get, we get less packs than usual, but we are guaranteed one ultra rare card. Lucy. There goes. One open much easier than the original. Mystery power box. Expect more mystery power box openings uh, for the next, for this year and to come because they're pretty fun. All right, what are we going to get? I'm going to open these pack by pack. The first thing we got here is a Astral Radiance. This is one of the newest sets from Sword and Shield. It's a brand new set, but I've never opened Astral Radiance, so that's kind of cool. I believe that's the second newest set. They have released all the Sword and Shield packs, sets so by this point. We have Evolving Skies. Uh, maybe Walmart just threw, the, threw these in there. Now, the loose packs are what's, what's cool. Shining Fates, okay, that's one of the new, that's um, a non-Sword and Shield pack that was released. That's This is a limited time pack, which is pretty cool, released with the shiny cards, the Gigantamax back in. Um, I believe this was released for the 25th anniversary in 2021, so pretty cool set. Next up we have Darkness Ablaze, opened plenty of Darkness Ablaze packs before, and last, well there's no more packs, but we do have 
a tag team Trevenant Dusknor GX promo card. This is a promo, so this was actually only sold in limited limited boxes. Uh, this is a 2019 card, so Sun and Moon, uh, late ages of Sun and Moon there for GX. Don't see many GXs anymore. Those are starting to get old. They had four packs and an ultra rare, but you were guaranteed an ultra rare. I'm gonna what start. What do you think's better? What do I think's better? I think the guaranteed ultra rare is better, honestly, because I'd rather get an ultra rare in three packs that in four packs that suck than five packs that suck. So your odds of, especially since they just throw the packs in there, our odds of this is what uh, darkness ablaze. Okay. Oh, Fred, why was it flipped around? Why do they do that to me? Well, some sets are different than others. Okay, fine. Darkness Ablaze didn't get anything. All right, let's go. Grass Energy. Darkness Ablaze was one of the earliest Sword and Shield packs released back in 2020. I think it was the third set. The only two that are older are Rebel Clash and Sword and Shield, the OG Sword and Shield set. Uh, Torchic, regular uh, Reverse Hollow, and a regular rare Hip Haldon very sad i don't know why i burnt the verizion of all of them this was that verizion was probably the best one that i got of the regular areas but it's just the first one um i kind of want to save shining fates till the end to be honest let's do another evolving skies for now i've never opened astral radiance before so this will be cool uh next up we have um evolving skies this was one of the better sets rated in for sword and shield this is what is this guy's name i forgot that guy's name actually I usually don't I usually don't forget plug my names, but I forgot that guy's name. Looks like he's one of the Ultra Beasts or something like that. Alright, looks like we got Applin to start things off here. Nope. Oh, reverse. Another green card. Man, wow. That is just unfortunate. It's Walmart, you know. They probably just throw packs in. I mean, somebody's gotta put those packs in there. It's not like when they make manufacture the packs, it's not like where they just put random cards in them. So Fire energy. We don't really care about these commons, I don't think. But this is uh, what pet? What says this? Roaring? Um, not roaring skies. Uh, evolving skies. Roaring skies was an old set back in the day. Fletchender is the reverse hollow, and then the regular rare is a Stoutland. Just, just a very disappointing regular rares. We have we've got nothing but regular rares since the first pack. Next up is going to be Astral Radiance. This set was released in 2022. One of the newest sets. The second to last set. Release for Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield had a total of 10 sets in the Sword and Shield series. The last one was um, the Sun, like the Origins one. Um, but this is the second to last one, Astro Radiance. Um, by the time this set came out, I wasn't really open Pokemon cards much on videos, so I never really did much of these openings. But here we go Astro Radiance. Let's see what we got. Okay, this is one of the newer sets, so it doesn't have the. Uh, it does have still the code, though. Doesn't have the um, the wire green, so we don't know what we're going to get out of this thing. Very good. I used to be so slow at pack tricks. See, they changed the energy design, too, in the newer packs. So now it's uh, fighting energy. Duat Yon Mega. Eh, nice Yon Mega there. That's an uncommon. Wow, typically Yon Mega is rare. Silene Heracross. Teddy Ursa. Mantine. That's a common. Wow, Mantines are... Good. Voltor, Basculin, uh, Hisuian, Hisuian, uh, Avalog. Uh, that's going to be a rare, a regular reverse rare and a regular rare Reggie Rock. Oh, man. We got one more try to get the, to get a, a, a ultra rare. Hopefully we can pull it out of this. Uh, the Hisuian, uh, Avalog is not bad, though. Hopefully we can get it out of this Evolving Skies pack. This pack is, um, shiny Pokemon. Uh, I believe this was released for some sort of anniversary. This set was. So this is a pretty cool set. Hopefully we can get a shiny card. Let's see what happens, man. I don't think it's one in 4,096 chance like in the games to get a shiny, but it's still probably rare. I don't want to look at that good card. There's Shining Fates. Shining Fates was only released in promo boxes. You could only get it in promo boxes. You couldn't just buy Shining Fates packs. So the only way you could get a Shining Fates card was in a promo box, which is pretty interesting. Light Electric Energy Tropius. 
Floatzel, I used to think Tropius was a legendary back in the day. Kind of looks like a legendary. Uh, Floatzel, uh, Team Yell, Tower, Morpico, Eevee, Gossifleur, Yanma, Yanma, Snom. Ooh, a shiny hollow Corviknight in the reverse spot. And then a regular rare Dreadnought. Okay, we got a shiny Corviknight. I don't remember if that was in every pack or what, but that is a very cool looking card. And then we end things out with a regular rare Dreadnought. So the Corviknight wasn't bad. And I don't remember, I feel like Shiny Fates, you might have gotten a Shiny in every set, but I might be confusing that with a different Shiny set because they do, they do them every now and then. So the the two, the main good cards that we got from the packs today were the Shiny Corviknight and the Urshifu V, Rapid Strike Urshifu V from the first pack that we opened from Battle Styles. And then we got this promo they put in the hard case for us, pr promo Trevenant and Duskmore GX tag team card. Pretty cool. A very strong 2023 for the channel. We got plenty of videos planned. I think you're going to like them. And um, be sure to head on over to the pack battle video that I did a few weeks ago uh, to check out uh, and give that a like as well so we can do the pack battle with Island Card Collector and Meanie X. So um, shout out to their channels. Go check them out. And uh, we'll do the pack battle hopefully in, in the few months to come once I head on over to Puerto Rico. With Island Card Collector, we can do the pack battle if we hit 15 likes. So, we've got to hit 15 likes. So, and with that, I want to thank you guys for a great opening so far, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Wah! <laughs>